Hey kids, guess where I am? That's right. I'm back over here <clears throat> to get that firewood. I like to never found this place. I just pulled in and I'm getting a lot of crazy noises around here. I'm probably disturbing some wildlife. But uh, yeah, I like to never found this place. But I came back to get that firewood. That's too good to pass up. Some pretty good wood down there, so. And I thought while I was at it, I might uh, change out that, that bag. That's right, I'm, I think I'm done with that EDC. That, uh, that gear slinger needs to be put to a more practical purpose. Uh, I've been carrying it for two years as an everyday carry bag with all the gear in it. And uh, I've just come to the realization, I don't need all that gear. And I do need more than what I'm carrying in that jumbo bag for when I'm out trekking. So I'm gonna switch them over. I'm gonna put my EDC in the jumbo bag and uh, put my walking in the woods gear in that gear slinger. And we might have a little bite to eat while we're out here. I brought my Tran G alcohol burner. And uh, we might have a little little snack while we're here. All right, man. I'm going to uh, put some gloves on and throw some logs up here. I'll be back. Well, I'm off to a good start. Got that done. Check in with my partner here. K5 DSO, K5 DSO, K5 EMF. Go ahead. All right, man. I got a. I got a few logs in the back. I got. I had to load them up out of the ravine, and then uh, pile them all in the back of the truck. But I'm good to go. I'm glad to get that done, Roger. All right. Find out what's moving in the woods. It's probably deer. There's all kinds of deer in this area. And uh, they're making their presence known. I heard some hoof, hoof uh, marks uh, a while ago while I was down there in the ravine. Something probably ran up here and then said, oh, crap. Went back the other way. But, yeah, there was all kinds of, of uh, deer that crossed my path on the way out here. Are you going to go ahead and set up your little camp for the morning out there? Well, I thought I'd uh, fire up the old Tran G alcohol stove and uh, cook something up, maybe make a little salad and, uh, you know, chill out for a little bit. I might go over there to that other camp and, and rustle up that tent. I can't see leaving that tent out there poles or not i mean i could surely use that at some later date but i just hate to store crap like that you know it just takes up space and then as soon as you get rid of it you need it and uh, if i needed it i'd regret not getting it so i may get that tent over there before i leave I thought that was at the same site now you weave on down this road a ways and the road comes to a t and if you go uh left it takes you to that abandoned site and if you go right it takes you over here to this ravine where the logs are at no so that road splits off after you left the uh the lake road roger that so i'm over here at the ravine right now i'm gonna do a little cooking maybe whip me up some lunch and man you're welcome to join me if you want to head out this direction i appreciate it i still got Clothes are going. Matter of fact, the buzzer just went off. Okay, man, I can dig laundry day. I know where you're coming from. Well, uh, I'll let you go for now. I am going to leave the radio on in case you want to contact me or I may want to holler at you later. So uh, we'll talk at you after a little while, man. 73, K5 EMF. All right, K5 DSF. All right. Well, I got that done. I know that doesn't look like a bunch to you guys, but I had to crawl down in a ravine and get those logs. <laughs> I 
and then I had to throw them up here to the top and then I had to log load them into my truck so I'm glad to get that done this fat old man his back's hurting already from that but I did leave me a log out to sit on and I'm gonna make something to eat real quick you guys stand by I'll be right back I had to move things around a little bit to uh, man I've got a tight picture there to uh, make room for everything I need to get a little tripod here <clears throat> but uh I'm fixing to make a little lunch if you guys want to join me here. Uh, it's not going to be one of them full productions with cowboy irons and everything, but I am going to use my uh, Trangia stove. And uh, I've grown very fond of it. This is a, that is a crack. Oh, man. That is a super little outfit right there. And uh, we're going to get some stuff going in it right here in just a second as soon as I get this tripod all lined out. Oh, by the way, I'm shooting on my uh, Sony. I haven't fired it up in a while. This is my Sony 85. Or, uh, oh, man, that tripod is not right at all. Hang on. Let's try it like that. This is my Sony SR85. Now it doesn't get the uh, full high def like that. That Panasonic rig does, that Lumex. But uh, I like it. It does real nice. It's one of my favorite little cameras. And uh, been a while since I've used it. Okay. Yeah, like I said, guys, I only have so much room on this tailgate, Roger. But uh, I like to carry me a little green scrubby pad in there. And I like to carry uh, a clean washcloth just to wipe things out with. And of course, here's the windscreen right there this is the windscreen part you just kind of turn that over and uh, let's pull a pole out of here actually this is the stand this is actually the uh, this part is actually the stand and then this part is the windscreen all right I'm gonna set this over here for now let's get our little stove out Little olive oil. Now these things are pretty, uh, pretty dependable, but mine has leaked on occasion. Uh, it's alcohol, and it doesn't leak very much. And you know, because it's alcohol, whatever leaks evaporates very fast. So, yeah, it's bone dry. That's why I like it. That's why I keep it. Keep it dry. Okay, now here is our Trangia fuel bottle. Roger that. Uh, there wasn't any need to waste my money on that. It's just a fancy bottle with a fancy opening mechanism is really all it is. So, I don't remember how much I spent on it, but However much it was, it was too much. It's leak proof is what the thing is. So, you know, if you can find a leak proof bottle, uh, just about anything will work. Like I said, it's just, you know, it's just alcohol. I say like I said a lot, don't I? It's just alcohol. So, uh, if it leaks a, a few drops, whatever it is, it's going to evaporate almost immediately. Let's set that over there. 
Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we're going to go with the full burn. I surely do. Where's that fire starter? Man, I hope I don't cause a, some kind of an eruption here. That's what I like. I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but there were big old pieces of metal come flying off there burning. This is a Michi metal uh, ferrocene rod. And uh, it's called from Gob Spark. And I mean to tell you, it doesn't screw around. Hear the jets kicking in? Oh yeah. Now we're gonna put our windscreen back on here. Kind of twist that around until it locks in place. And uh, we got a big bowl and a small bowl. And I think we're gonna go with the big bowl for this operation. Let's lower our stands. I'll show y'all how that works. Let me show you. See those little, these little deals right here. Just flip in and out, lower in and out. That's the operation right there. And we're going to lower a bowl right on top of that. And then it's time for some food. Better put some food in there. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, holy mackerel. Somebody left me some little smokies. <laughs> I love little smokies. So we're gonna dump that in there with the juice and everything. Come on out of there, guys. Come on out. Oh yeah, mess that around a little bit. Make sure I got all the juices out of there. We always pack our garbage out, so I brought a extra sack with me. Always pack out our trash. That'll be our trash sack right there. This log's pretty comfortable, guys. You know what, let me, uh, let me pause this for a second and we'll be right back. But I tell you, I, well, I tell it. Guys, I don't know what's up with my tripod. Hang on. I might try getting a regular tripod instead of this Rudy Boot thing. Okay. And now, you know what goes in there next, right? You know it. Oh yeah. Now I think we built up a good enough head of steam here where I can turn that down a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust my simmer ring to where I want it. That'd probably be about right, right there. I'm gonna grab our, our bowl getter. I'm gonna lift that up out of there. We're gonna drop this son of a gun on there. We now have regulated fire. That's how that works. Yes, sir, we still have heat coming out of there real nicely. Now what that'll do now is just simmer in there real sweet. 
Hmm. Wipe my knife off immediately here. Wow. That's sounding pretty good the way it's gurgling and bubbling and stuff. <clears throat> Hope you boys aren't too hungry. Because uh, there ain't enough here for me to share. <laughs> That's the name of that tune. Sorry. All right. I'm going to try some one-handed uh, operating here. I'm wondering if I got my other, I'm wondering if I got my other, oh man, look how scratched up that light is from coming in here. Good grief. I don't have my other tripod. So I'll just have to make do with what we got here, guys. That, that means uh, I'm going to be doing some one-handed stuff. This is a light in my fire kit. Have you guys seen these before? I know you have. You're outdoorsman. You've seen just about everything there is. As a matter of fact, I depend on you fellas for what's new on the market. Okay, we'll set our little triangle. Look at that. Hear them buzz, gig, or uh, hear them sizzling. Okay. One handed operation, so I'm doing the best I can. All right, that's the lid plate section for those of you that never seen one of these before. This here is a spork. And if you've never seen one of these before, you, you just need to go to another channel right now, okay? I can't mess with you. This is a cutting board that comes with a little outfit. And I see the little holes at the bottom, that's for draining stuff. Straining and draining. That's my spork. What I'm wanting is in this, and I'm going to have a time getting out with one hand. There we go. All right, inside there is another little bowl. <laughs> Man. All right, hang on. This is a two-handed operation. Okay. All right. You take the lid off there. What do we got here? Now, see, you got your cup. You got a plate there. You got a big bowl here. You got a small bowl or a cup there that won't leak because it's got a little sippy hole. And you got your spork. You got your, your cutting board and a drainer. And then here, you, sorry, here you've got, let's see, pepper. That's S for salt. And, uh, that little blank one right there is uh, daddy's little helper is what that is. Okay. Sorry. You just, you just pull that thing out like that. It just pops open. This here little cayenne pepper. Little cayenne will do this. Now that sauce is already pretty hot. Well, not to cutlery lover standards, but you know, it's hot enough for just dining. I better give that a little stir. They're sizzling real nice. Mm -mm -mm. Boys, those are going to be good. Y'all familiar with Little Smokies? Well, if you're not, you're missing out. I'm here to tell you. Okay, let's get our cutting board out. Man, oh man, I just love that sauce. Y'all that don't know, down here in southern Oklahoma, it's like the tornado capital of the planet. And uh, the weather guy at Channel 9, Gary England, he kind of developed a Doppler radar. He's the one that was very instrumental in developing that. And he's the one that turned me on to this head country barbecue sauce. I love the stuff. I used to be one of them KC nuts. KC masterpiece. I like the sweet sauce, but you know, that's just too sweet. Now they've got all kinds of recipes out, but I listened to Gary England and he turned me on to that stuff right there. And man, I've been hooked ever since. No doubt about it. Listen, guys, I'm going to 
crank this up a notch and uh, get me some vegetables going. I got a skin of cum cucumber over there and a tomato and and uh, I got me a little potato salad from the store, store bought potato salad. And I'll be back in a short. Don't worry, I won't eat alone. I love me some Finland cutlery. I sure do. Oh, one got away. All right. It's looking pretty good, guys. <clears throat> Friend's been hollering at me on the radios. So, uh, had to delay it just a little bit, but I got me some, uh, I got me a cucumber and tomato over there, and I got an orange for dessert. I got a little potato salad down here, and I'm about ready to take those little smokies out of there. Let me see what I can do. I'll be right back. All right. I think I'm going to take those off, guys. And uh, once again, we just grab our little doodicky there. And you close that lid up. That's all you got to do. Now, normally, if you're not using your simmer ring, you just throw the lid on it, and it'll put the fire out in just a second. Lost my spark. All right. We'll be right back, guys. Yes, sir, those are going to be good. I got me some little smokies there and some potato salad. I might want to give that a little shot of some salt there and some nice, tasty, fresh vegetables. Got those at Farmer's Market. And, uh, by golly, got me an orange for dessert. Well, I know what you're saying. Is he going to eat all those? Well, the fact of the matter is I didn't bring any Tupperware with me, so it's either eat it all or feed the little wild animals. And uh, since they haven't invited me to dinner lately, I'm gonna eat it all. I'll be back. Well guys, that was pretty good for off the tailgate of my truck. I don't, <laughs> I don't mind telling you. That was pretty tasty and yep, I ate every bit of it. It was mighty good. But I've got to clean this mess up now. <clears throat> and you say, well, Wolf, how are you going to get all that barbecue sauce and everything cleaned up? Well, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get my water bottle out here. And we're just going to heat up a little water, Roger. Put a little water in there. That ought to be enough. Put a little more in there. Just so it's sitting for a minute. And then we're going to get that stove cranked up again. And heat that water, clean that up, pour it into this one. Wipe this one out, wipe that one out, and we'll be done. Well, except for that one. <laughs> but I'll get to them, man. Let me get my dishes done. I'll be right back, guys. Well, <clears throat> it is suddenly and very alarmingly super quiet out here. I don't like that. I don't hear any birds. I don't hear any cattle. 
in any case. I'm letting the alcohol burn out of that. There's just a little bit left in there. And as you can see, I've got my dishes cleaned up, ready to pack up and stow away. Let me get my trash together and I'll be right back, guys. Okay. As you guys can see, I am squared away. So, I'm not gonna dwell out here too much longer. I was considering taking a hike, but uh, temperature's dropping quite a bit. As you can see it's kind of gloomy and gray up there today. Nothing like it was yesterday. And uh, I'm not even getting a lot of wildlife activity. It gets so quiet out here, uh, it's unnerving. So, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and count my blessings. And uh, really, I enjoyed that meal. That was just delicious. And I've got me some firewood for the next time I come. And uh, I'll start making my way out of here. Roger? Alright, this is Wolf. Stand by one. Well, I really enjoyed that. I love to get out there and uh, my friend was just telling me on the radio that uh, it doesn't matter what you're eating. If you're eating it outside, it always tastes better. I said, that's the truth. If you're out just hiking and uh, you break out with an orange, that'll be the best orange you've had all month. I guarantee you. Yeah, we're spoiled by rooftops and electricity. Uh, I'm on the Upper Lake Road, guys, and uh, I'm headed out of this place. I went down in there pretty deep. There's a spillway. There's some wild country back off in there. <clears throat> but they won't even let you go in there. And the signs don't say no trespassing. They say danger, do not enter. <laughs> That's a pretty wild country. But anyways, <coughs> I sure did enjoy uh, enjoy uh, my lunch out there. And uh, I got the wood I wanted for the next time I go camping. I, I think y'all saw they're already uh, firewood length uh, cut logs. So I'll leave them that way until I'm ready to go. And uh, next time I go camping, I can just process some wood up. There'll be nice dry wood right in the, right in the center. So... I'll have me some good firewood. Well, guys, uh, take care, and uh, I hope I didn't bore you. I always enjoy your company. This is Wolf, and I'm out.